on the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of IBM Think 2021. Brought to you by IBM. Well, hello everybody and welcome again to the Cube. We continue our initiative here of IBM Think. And now we're joined by two distinguished guests who are really going the extra mile for us, I might say. Here we are in the States at a very reasonable hour. In Korea, it's a little later in the evening. So we certainly appreciate their time and, and their patience here. We're joined by Mr. Ki Hong Sung, who is the CEO and president of IBM Korea, and Mr. Jung Sik Su, who is the CEO of Hyundai Auto Ever, which is an IT service company affiliated with the Hyundai Motor Group. And gentlemen, uh, Anyang Haseo, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Hi. Yeah, hi. Very good to see you there. And I hope I hope I didn't do the uh, the greeting injustice there. Um, uh, first off, Keith, I'll start with you. Let's talk about first off, kind of this digital transformation that trans. Buyers, uh, not only here in the United States, but of course is, is global and certainly with an IT advanced company like Korea. Give us just really kind of a calibration. Where are you in terms of this transformation in Korea uh, with regard to digital? Um, well, a lot of people are interested in uh, the post COVID world and how it is going to look like, um, what changes this pandemic will bring. Um, the Korean government is really focusing on growing um, the digital sector, uh, taking this advantage and taking this opportunity as a, a chance to really uh, upgrade the entire IT system uh, of the nation. So for example, like a Korean economy had been contracted by negative 1% um, and industry players also face difficulties. Uh, for example, discount stores, negative um, 20% Y2Y, uh, department stores are lost 30% of their revenue. But um, the, the government is injecting money um, to really change the game, uh, leveraging the digital technology. Yeah, you, and you mentioned COVID and obviously that's had a global impact, you know, not only in your operations here in the United States, certainly, but. Africa, in Europe, um, and certainly in Asia, as we talked about. Can you go just a little bit deeper on that in terms of what those impacts have been and, and maybe a little more specificity on coming out of that? You mentioned the, the economic impacts that Korea is currently suffering, but, but looking for a bounce back, looking for a rebound with the government. Maybe a little more specifics about the, the impact of COVID. And then Mr. Uh, Mr. Saw, so I'm going to turn to you for that as well. First off, uh, Key, if you would. Okay, um, in an effort to recover from COVID-19 economic recession, uh, Korean government announced Digital New Deal, um, which is to lay a foundation for a digital economy that will spur economic growth and innovation. Uh, the policy aims to create a new digital economy, which is underpinned by new technologies such as 5G, big data, and artificial intelligence. According to IDC research, 55% uh, of Korean companies have already overcome the economic downturn and, and are moving uh, toward a growth and next normal. They have been very active in making investments uh, to become the enterprise of the future. And this is higher than global average of 37% uh, in terms of um, a recovery rate. This indicates that leading Korean companies are quickly preparing for the next even in the face of a crisis. John, we've been hearing from Key talking about uh, digital and certainly the impacts of COVID. And I would assume that at, uh, at Hyundai, you know, you, you have uh, had to deal with this, certainly this uh, impact and, and are now coming out the other end. Some very positive news, some numbers we're hearing from Key. If you could talk about though, maybe from your perspective in terms of that impact, and then what kind of a rebound do you see or kind of positive uptick do you see in terms of digital and your business say in the next 12 to 18 months? Uh, so I think uh, the next 12 to 18 months, uh, the, we are reinforce uh, the uh, uh, digitalization, not just the working environment, but also uh, other aspects, especially for the, uh, the in terms of sales. Uh, you know, the uh, until now, most of the uh, the B2C sales that changed to digital or the, uh, the internet environment, but unfortunately, 
uh, car manufacturing OEM uh, companies are not too ready for the, uh, the e-commerce environment, but uh, Hyundai is very actively and, and um, proactively and, and, and preemptively uh, started the, the uh, e-commerce. So I think uh, next 12 to 18 months, two digit percent of our sales uh, I mean, fulfilled by uh, internet uh, base, I mean the attack base. This is the uh, most biggest and most uh, the challenging but uh, possible uh, change after COVID. Yeah, what, what's driving that then? Is it just that people are, are more likely to want to be at home, whether it's as a consumer or whether it's your workforce, whatever the case may be, but you're talking about this the kind, of, kind of going from a physical world to a more digital based world, uh, as, as I'm hearing you describe it. Is that accurate? Yes. So we are uh, the digital, digital world from just uh, communicate with the customer, but also the, uh, the, our internal operation, you know, the, like uh, the, uh, the manufacturing environment and also the sales environment, et cetera. And Key, if you would talk about maybe how this is uh, impacting your business and just in terms of I, IBM in general, not just with, with Hyundai, but um, I'm sure you support a lot of healthcare initiatives, a lot of other e-commerce initiatives and what have you. Um, what, what's kind of the bottom line impact there for you right now in terms of this massive shift over to digital? Well, uh, in IBM, our goal is to work with industry clients and technology partners to accelerate digital transformation through uh, automation, transition to hybrid cloud, and help our clients to really uh, gain uh, some benefits from their change. Uh, so one area uh, I can talk about is automation. We see increasing requirements from our clients on automation for operational excellence amid uh, the economic downturn and for hygiene purposes as well. Uh, so Seoul Asan Hospital is one of the leading hospitals in Korea um, and has the largest number of beds. Uh, Asan Hospital and IBM work together to develop a bed allocation automation system based on design thinking, uh, workshop, and garage method. Um, the automation system considers our patient-specific preferences, surgery schedule, uh, customized treatment for each patient, and various reservation status in each department. The result was outstanding. Uh, the hospital could reduce uh, the bed assignment lead time from 20 minutes to uh, seven minutes with a 0% error rate. Um, and currently more than 100 hospitalization registration procedures are being processed uh, every day without human intervention. And patient satisfaction and productivity of medical staff have improved significantly. That is just one uh, great, great example of automation, which uh, is taking place in many uh, other industries as well. Second is uh, transformation uh, to cloud. Uh, a large credit card, card company in Korea has chosen IBM as a partner to convert enterprise-wide uh, systems, including the most complex account system, to a managed private cloud using uh, cloud technology from IBM and Red Hat. Can you talk about these key factors, if you will, about cloud transformation and different kinds of operational efficiencies and all these you know, very fundamental, but very important factors to consider. Um, when you're talking to your clients right now, what are their, I wouldn't say hesitations, but I guess maybe their challenges in deciding what task will go where and to what degree they, they are, they're good with the cloud environment, to what degree they want it still on-prem, to what, where the hybrid comes into play. I mean, these are all are fairly crucial decisions that your clients are making. Well, uh, I think the uh, barrier to any decision, like a quick decision or sort of complete understanding is the technology itself is changing very quickly. I mean, last year, two years ago versus now, when I mean, all technology companies um, actually say something different. And that is not because um, they changed the position itself. Like the technology itself changed and uh, technology companies are responding to that trend. Uh, so 
That's why uh, some clients get confused and uh, that confusion slows down the adoption of digital technology. But uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this pandemic situation, um, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that like uh, Mr. So can talk about uh, some changes in Hyundai Motors. Uh, many companies realize that doing nothing or slowing down is not the best answer in this uh, environment. And they are now uh, proactively uh, embracing those changes. So, Jung, if, if you would then follow up on that, I, I would like to hear from you about Hyundai and, and the factors that you've considered in your digital decision-making in terms of workloads and capacities and, and um, you know, just where you house information, where you house your data, where you process it. Um, what are some of those factors that you have thought about? And then maybe going forward, how much more are you going to do? What else do, what are you considering right now in terms of, of future transformations? Uh, the, I think the other, our competitor, the other OEMs also think like that, uh, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, car, the car itself should be changed to digital. It means that, um, you know, the, uh, currently the software portion of the car is just uh, seven to 10% of total our, uh, the procurement, but uh, it'll be uh, changed to 20 to 30% in near uh, five years. It means that software portion will be the increased by three times. This one is, that is one, uh, our the digital change. The other one is that kind of software mostly uh, located not just in the car, which means that car is just a software edge activity. It means that just the, uh, the, mm -hmm. the input or, and output and, or some uh, the real time transaction or other computation and the calculation analysis and decision could be the car cloud. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the cloud is main body of the car software. And also just car is just uh, edge. Therefore edge cloud and main cloud. It will be occurred just within just several, two, several years because first of all, and firstly, Hyundai has currently more than 40% of the car is connected in recently. And also the cumulatively, uh, we are connected by around the 4 million car in the world. Mm. It'll be changed to 10 million car would be the connected within one year. So 10 million Hyundai cars will be connected to cloud, generating information. Yes, collecting and also, information and, okay. and, and we are ready for the uh, OTA, which means that over the air uh, software update uh, for the 10 million car within one year. Wow. And also it'll be the double up, double up, double year, year by year. Okay. Which means that all of the car will be the operated by cloud. Okay. And car is just input and output and activities. Therefore car is on cloud. Okay, mm -hmm. right. Interesting. That is and, and, uh, the major driver for our digital transformation. And, and, and if you would just, what, what role does IBM have in that? You're talking about a massive uh, increase. So 10 million cars is a or, very impressive number. And yeah. the data, the 10 million cars are producing uh, will be uh, enormous. So uh, IBM's role is actually helping clients in this kind of situation to um, help those companies uh, collect data and then like a, a seamless communication with the cloud. So that like at the real time, the 10 million cars um, get uh, the, the, the information timely. Um, and also like uh, all those uh, cars are uh, communicating with each other. That is uh, made possible upon a hybrid cloud platform. Um, and I think that is IBM's uh, contribution to uh, Hyundai Motors, not just Hyundai Motors, but industries uh, who have similar um, challenges and uh, desires. One more thing, uh, the already uh, IBM helped us uh, our, of, our, of our all 
uh, IT operation in US and Europe, uh, which composed of our 50% uh, of our revenue come from. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it means that, it means that uh, dozens of billion uh, revenue operation is located uh, in US and Europe. All of that, uh, the US Europe IT operation conducted by the IBM India and orchestrated by IBM Korean people. So it's amazing, as uh, Mr. Sir mentioned, like IBM Korea is leading the project. All the service delivery is done in India, uh, leveraging IBM India. And uh, we are serving Hyundai Motors in the United States and Europe. Uh, so it's a truly a global IT operation environment and that is made possible based upon uh, IBM's uh, cloud technology. Well, your summary was spot on. I couldn't say it any better, uh, Keith. Thank you for that. Uh, Jung, thank you as well. Talking about this impressive global impact and really partnership uh, that Hyundai is taking with IBM into several continents and, uh, and making it work for millions of consumers around the world. Thank you both for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. All right, we've been talking about Korea as a, an IT power country from the IBM perspective and certainly using Hyundai as a beautiful example of just how this partnership is working and growing and providing great service for consumers at the end of the day. You've been watching theCUBE and IBM Think.